In this demonstration we're going to look at how easy it is to extract data from a MySQL database and publish it using InDesign with CatBase doing all the hard work for you. So first of all in CatBase we will set up a database connection I've already set one up here and this basically defines uh, how to connect to the remote database which is a MySQL database uh, where to find it and what the password is and stuff like that. Right, so now we need to just import that data. We'll create a new import style which we'll creatively call import data. Um, so the source is going to be a MySQL database. It can also extract data from other ODBC sources such as uh, SQL Server for example. Now we need to tell it which table we're going to import the data into and that will be our photographer's table in CatBase. Um, we'll choose our connection which is our Castle Photos database connection and finally we need to tell it which table to import the data from in the remote database. So it's checked on the, on the remote database and tried to map the tables and the fields in our database to the, ta the fields in the remote database. Now it's done quite a good job by matching the names of the fields but it's missed a few so we just have to go through and tidy those up. Address 1 is address line 1, address 2, address line 2. Oh, let's see, specialty um, is called speciality because uh, it's an English program and logo is mapped to logo picture. Now if we just update the sample data we can see that it has mapped that data correctly. It's got the addresses, um, the specialties and the logo. Only one of them has one apparently. So we'll now import that data. There we go. It's imported eight records and all we need to do now is publish that data. Now we've created a publishing style sheet and the publishing style sheets are what tell CatBase what you want to publish and how you want it sorted and formatted. So we won't go into details on how that works in this tutorial. We can look at that in a different one. For now, we'll just go ahead and publish the data that we've just imported. So we click on the Publish button, and I'm going to use the publishing style sheet called Directory Complex. Now I'm publishing to InDesign, and I'm using a plugin called Xtags, which enables us to automatically create pictures and text boxes. Okay, so we'll call that directory. There we go. That's done. Catbase has created a file that contains all the data that we're going to publish plus the formatting instructions. So now we just switch to InDesign and here's a template I set up earlier. So we will go to File, Get Text with X Tags and import that directory file that I just created. Now InDesign is importing the data and it's formatting everything according to how it was specified in the publishing style sheet. So as you can see, depending on which um, listing level each photographer had selected, their data is formatted differently. For example, Mohammed just has a plain basic listing. John has the listing in a box with his logo. I know that's not a logo, but there we go. And Ferdinand has a different style of listing, which isn't in a box. And then John has another one, which is also in a box, but um, he doesn't he hasn't paid for his logo. This is very flexible. You can set up any kinds of rules that you like for the formatting of the data. So there you go. That is a quick illustration of the workflow involved in taking data from a MySQL database on a remote server and publishing it to InDesign using CatBase.